Hi, I'm Amber from Lazy Sundays, and today we're going to be making the white chocolate matcha latte with boba. So for the ingredients, you're definitely going to want boba, which you can get at any local Chinese grocery store. Um, I found some in our local Chinatown here in New York City. For the simple syrup, you're going to want to use sort of any sugar of choice. Um, we're going to be using a brown sugar today. Um, you're also going to want milk to make your actual drink. So we have whole milk, oatly, and pistachio milk in store. Um, today I'm going to use oatly. For our white chocolate syrup, um, we're going to be using butter, half and half, um, and white chocolate bits for that. And then last but not least, we're going to be also using matcha. Um, again, you can get this at any local Chinese or Japanese grocery store, and a, a universal grade is good enough for that. Okay, awesome. So we're going to be cooking boba to start. Um, all you need to actually cook the boba is your boba. We're going to be making a four serving um, recipe today. So um, that's about a cup of boba. Um, you can really get boba anywhere at any of your local Chinatown grocery stores. Um, our boba does take about half an hour to cook, half an hour to rest, and then you're going to want to soak it also in the simple syrup that we're going to be making. Um, but the boba that you get from your grocery store, just follow those directions and you'll be good. Our water is boiling right now, which is awesome, which means that we're ready to put the boba in. Um, so you're going to take your one cup, go ahead and pour it in, and then right away just start stirring really well. I'm going to start the timer for 30 minutes. Okay, so next up we're making our simple syrup. Um, since we're making four portions, we're gonna use about a cup of water. And put it on low heat. Um, I like to use hot water so it kind of melts all a little bit faster. Um, and then we're gonna pour in our one cup of sugar. And it shouldn't take too long for it to dissolve. Um, but you just want to make sure that all the grainy bits are gone. Um, should take maybe about 10 minutes or less. After your boba is done cooking, you're going to want to strain it out. Make sure to get all that water out. Um, and then you're going to take your simple syrup that you've already made, and you're just going to want to soak it in the boba for about 20 minutes. So after your boba has been soaking in the simple syrup for about 20 minutes. Um, you'll have about four servings, so this is the amount that you're, you're kind of be getting. Okay, so we're making the white chocolate syrup now. Um, you're gonna wanna use half a cup of half and half, so really any store brand works well. Eight ounces of white chocolate chips. I like to use the Ghirardelli ones that you can get at any local grocery store. Um, I like to measure out or weigh out my eight ounces too. And then last but not least is butter. Um, we're gonna just use two teaspoons of it, so Okay, awesome. You can see it's starting to boil. Um, and once it gets to that point, you actually just want to take it off the heat. So I'm going to turn our heat off. Um, you want to add in your butter and then also your white chocolate bits. And it should be pretty hot, so you're just going to want to whisk it and let everything melt together. It'll take a little bit of arm muscle to get it really smooth, um, but Overall, a pretty easy process, and it smells really, really amazing right now. But you're gonna wanna store it in the fridge, too, because there is dairy in it that will go bad. Um, so just make sure, once it's cooled and done, if you wanna store any of it, put it in a sealed jar and put it in the fridge after. I'm gonna put the matcha in there. Get my whisk. Um, you can find this at any sort of Chinese grocery store, Japanese grocery store. Um, if you don't have anything at home, feel free to use a fork. I've done that before. Um, and you can also use a blender too, if that's kind of the route you want to take. So what I like to do with the matcha is just add a little bit of water first, and then really get a nice paste going. Um, it's important to get all the clumps out of the matcha, because you really want a really smooth drinking experience. Add in a little bit more water. Again, making sure it's mixed up really well. 
Okay, we're ready to build our drink. The most exciting part. Um, so you're gonna wanna put about four tablespoons of boba into the bottom of the drink to start. So it's about one scoop here at Lazy Sundays. Let's do a little bit more. There you go. Then you're gonna wanna pour in your white chocolate sauce. So this is again, two ounces. Get that all in there. Cool. Next up, you're gonna put in your ice. So you really can put in however much ice you like. I like, you know, a pretty good scoop here. This is a 16 ounce cup, by the way. You wanna use something around this size. Next, we're gonna layer on our milk of choice. I'm gonna use Oatly today just because I like how creamy it is. And you're gonna wanna use about nine ounces of whatever milk you use. All that matcha. Right onto the ice cube, actually. That'll help with the layering. And then if you have available, a boba straw is really great um, to get all the bubbles into your mouth. But if not, sometimes I'll just have my boba drink with a spoon too. Totally works as well. 